Chicago Bears defensive lineman Dan Hampton's ability to play with pain has made him one of the most respected and most feared defensive tackles in the NFL. Hampton figures that during his lifetime, he's had over 300 stitches. In our NFL profile, you'll meet a good-natured country boy who enjoys planting crops off the field as much as he enjoys burying ball carriers on it. The man known as Danimal, number 99 Dan Hampton of the Chicago Bears, doesn't have to look hard to find admirers throughout the NFL. Everybody always looks at how he rushes the passer. That's great, he does. But he plays runs so well. He might play the run as good as anybody, any lineman. And he's capable of dominating a football game. In other words, uh, if you get him in that situation enough and you can't get help on him, then he's going to kind of take over the game. He's a large human being. You know, he's tall, he's strong, and he's, he's intense. He's, uh, he's a good guy, too, a good old country boy. Down on his Arkansas farm, Hampton has sown the fruits of his football labors, creating an off-season haven away from the pressures of the game. I'm kind of proud of this tractor. I like it a whole lot. And a couple years ago when Buddy Ryan came down, he liked my farm and, uh, you know, the horses and the cattle and everything. Boy, but he loved this tractor. He, he'd had some old tractors. And when he got the job in Philadelphia, he told me, he said, now I can afford one of those tractors like what you got. And that's what he did. He went and bought him a new tractor when he got the new job in Philadelphia. On the same land where Confederate soldiers once camped, Hampton and his wife, Terry, have built their farm based on a firm football foundation. This year, what, what, this, this driveway, this was the, uh, the championship game against the Rams. This is, this is what I used the money on after that game. Next year, if uh, we're, we're fortunate and we play well, we get into the playoffs, then I've got uh, a living room that uh, Terry wants to redo with a bunch of new furniture and that type of thing. So it's a great incentive for me because it's tangible and it makes me look forward to going back every year a little bit more. Come on, you bunch of fat cows, come eat something. See? Some of Hampton's farm assets must be fed twice a day. I'm not just a country boy or a cowboy. I just grew up in the country and I like the outdoors. And that's why I like what I'm doing right now. So it's not like this is, you know, I get up and I work from dawn to exhaustion every day. The heifers hear their master's voice at the feeding trough. But at night, Dan Hampton sings a different kind of tune. She's a sweet little thing. She's my kind of joy. After eight years in the Windy City, Chicago blues have become a favorite of this rock and roll Danimal. Actually, I think John Madden brought that up. He, he called, he said, well, R Randy White is a manster. This guy could be danster or something like that. Well, when we got back to Chicago, uh, some reporters told me that. I said, no, I don't want to be danster. If you want to call me anything, call me Danimal, which is what some of the guys in college call me. Dan Hampton, he has fingers that, you know, go like this and point out this way and something. I mean, he, he told him to make a fist and only about one finger goes down and the other ones stay out. And here's a guy who plays as well as he does and doesn't have a good hand or arm or leg. If he didn't have the injuries that he had, they'd probably have to outlaw him from football. I found out how resilient the body is and, and that's why I don't really make a lot out of injuries. I know the body will overcome them and you just got to keep, you know, your attitude up and, and try the best with what you've got. Bad hands or not, Dan Hampton has a firm grip on football, his farm, and his future. <laughs>